Samsung has got eyes for you. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The Samsung Galaxy S4 could have eye tracking software, so you can scroll through the screen using your eyeballs. It's the latest report on the highly anticipated smartphone, and it seems like a legit rumor. The New York Times reports it spoke to a Samsung employee who tried the phone, and when a user's eyes reach the bottom of the page, the software will continue to scroll down so you can keep reading. Samsung does have a patent on something called eye scroll and eye pause, but we won't know if it's a feature until March 14th when the phone is officially unveiled. At CES this past January, I got to try something similar. A startup called the iTribe was showing how easy and cheap it was to install eye tracking software into a tablet or smartphone. And don't forget, the Galaxy S3 already has a program called Smart Stay that scans your pupils with the front facing camera to see if you're still looking at the screen, and if you are, the screen doesn't dim. Another report out today is that YouTube could be working on creating its own music streaming service. This news comes from Fortune, and apparently the service would offer free music streaming with ads, as well as an ad-free subscription option. People are looking up music all the time on YouTube, so there's a natural connection there. This would put YouTube, though, up against services like Spotify and Pandora. Say goodbye to the TweetDeck apps. Twitter is shutting down TweetDeck apps for Android and iPhone, as well as the desktop Adobe Air program. The apps are being taken out of the app stores in May, and shortly after, all the programs will stop working altogether. Instead, Twitter rather have you use the TweetDeck version made for web browsers when you're at your computer, and the plain Twitter app when you're on your mobile device. There's a company that's taking a new approach to streaming movies and TV shows. It's called Hit Bliss, and the service will pay you to watch commercials, and you can spend that money on renting movies and shows. You can't just walk away and let the ads play. You have to check in during an advertisement to prove you're still sitting there, but just watching six minutes worth of commercials can earn you enough to watch a movie. Right now, the service is in beta, so you'll have to sign up to try it out. And today, I'd like to introduce a new segment. It's called This Is Happening. On Twitter, the toilet paper brand Charmin has a social media team that's tweeting about how often they go to the bathroom. And they're encouraging others to do the same using the hashtag tweet from the seat. Just making sure you're aware, this is happening. That's your tech news update. You can find more details on these stories at the blog cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.